had to be nervous, but not too nervous. If I had the butterflies, I knew that was a good sign that I was going to swim well. And it was just, for me, it was exciting to go out there and to compete against other people, but also to compete against myself and to compete against the clock. Ironically, um, my accident was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Um, you know, without my accident, I don't think that I'd, I'd ever think of, uh, you know, it to be possible to achieve all this uh, this stuff that I've uh, that I've achieved and that I've experienced. I was probably 19, and I was called up to the Montreal Canadiens for five games in. And that kind of gave me an idea that uh, maybe I could make a living playing professional hockey. Stairs sent one of the air, deep to right field. That one is gone. Take a look at these people. Millions already have. Every one is a sports hero, and each is from New Brunswick. Paris, 1867, the year Canada is formed. A lighthouse keeper and some fishermen with no style and old equipment are up against highly trained Europeans in Paris and become world rowing champions. It makes newspaper headlines around the world and is a great start for the new nation of Canada and especially for New Brunswick. From Bay St. Anne, Yvonne Durrell was a boxing champion known around the world. He won boxing championships in Europe, the United States and Canada. You can watch one of his most famous battles on our website. A member of our country's Canadian Sports Hall of Fame, Ron Turcott is a horse racing legend, winner of the high profile Kentucky Derby twice, back to back. <music> Willie O'Ree, born in Fredericton, was the first black hockey player in the NHL. He played for the Boston Bruins, lived with cruel comments because of his color, even playing with blindness in one eye. Fredericton named a new arena after him, Willie O'Ree Place. Mark Fawcett, originally from St. John, has won 14 Snowboard World Cup events and coached the medal-winning snowboard team at the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver. The stories behind every one of these heroes and many more are in the New Brunswick Sports Hall of Fame, where legends live. And the Hall of Fame has far more than stories. You can watch videos, see artifacts related to major sports events, all by fellow New Brunswickers. There's even an interactive room where you can play against each other in a virtual environment. You might discover a sport you really like, right here. Every New Brunswick sports legend started with a first try. My first memory was uh, in a little puddle frozen over in the backyard uh, behind my parents' house and uh, trying to skate with my mother's skates on. So I was probably four or five years old at that time. Swimming obviously was a huge part of my life and I loved swimming. Um, I didn't perhaps love jumping in a freezing cold pool at 6 a.m. but uh, I just I loved it. I mean I love the sport uh, and uh, I did before I was injured and I do now so um, wheelchair basketball is a sport for me. You don't have to be a sports star. Most people aren't. But you'll feel better and probably live longer if you're active in sports. Start right at home or in your school gymnasium, 
and visit the New Brunswick Sports Hall of Fame, where legends live. It might just be the beginning of your own career. I didn't even realize that we had Olympic speed skaters, we had uh, players that won the Stanley Cup, we've had downhill skiers, we've had some tremendous athletes in this province. And until I visited the hall years and years ago, and I didn't, you know, I, even me being involved in sports and a professional athlete, I didn't realize that we had, from one corner of this province to the other, just tons and tons of, uh, of skilled sports people and people that did amazing things. I think the New Brunswick uh, Hall of Fame is really important uh, to show, you know, the, the past athletes that, have, uh, that uh, we do have in New Brunswick. Well, I think my involvement in sport, and particularly in swimming, changed my life because I've had a lot of great opportunities. Um, I've been able to travel around the world um, competing in various um, different swimming competitions and also training camps, and these are probably places I might not have gone otherwise.